Right, so yeah, so welcome to uh, the first uh, swim cord session that's an alternative to an actual swim session. Hopefully you feel by the end of the session that we've kind of achieved the goal of keeping swim specific muscles activated, maybe even warm them out just a little bit. So we're really looking to target chest and lats and triceps. That's the point of the session. We're going to go through a warm up and try and keep the whole session really as authentic uh, to a normal swim set as we possibly can. So we've got a warm up uh, and then we've got a couple of uh, like an activation bit instead of drills, although there will be drills in other sessions that we do. We've got two uh, main sets as well, both of those quite challenging, one working a little bit more in endurance and threshold, the other one looking a little bit um, more at uh, power. Just uh, let Simon in again. Uh, so let's get cracking. We're going to start as we would do on poolside with some arm swings. So if you stand up, find yourself a space and let's get ready. And we'll go take one arm left or right, doesn't matter, and we'll take it round. Sort of 15, 20 times. So we just, as I said, the aim of the session is to make this as, as similar to a, an actual swim session as possible, change slides. So we'll see how, get, how we get on. Get some of your feedback at the end. Okay, we'll go back to the first arm, we'll take it backwards. So always really good to make sure that we warm up the shoulder as much as possible before we get in the water. And it's exactly the same here, change sides. Especially if you're doing this early in the morning and you just got out of bed, it's a good chance to get everything lubricated, warmed up and ready to go. Good stuff. We're gonna take that first time again and we're gonna do the big cross in front of us. So swing the hand hip to hip, drawing a cross in front of you. So this session is being filmed and we'll go on to YouTube afterwards, hopefully, if the technology allows, so that you can follow it again and other people can join in and follow it too. And we'll change sides. I've set it up so that if you speak, uh, you won't be on the recording. And uh, you shouldn't be on the recording at all, actually. It should just be a picture of me. So don't worry about how you look or uh, your image going online. Good stuff. Now I'm just going to open up and cross over. Keep doing that. We've got someone coming in again. There we go. Keep going. Okay, we're going to keep doing this, but we're just going to bend over, keeping a nice straight back, pushing the bum out, getting into that position that we're going to be maintaining as we use the swim cords. So wait for the heel, activate the glutes as you swing the arms. So we're opening up the chest, warming up the shoulders, starting to activate the core and the glutes. Good stuff from here, we're going to do our golf swing, so let the hands hang nice and loose and swing across and follow through with the hip. Pull up that arm behind the shoulder so you stretch through the triceps. Good stuff. Keep going, we'll do quite a lot of these So our aim really across the next few weeks of these sessions before we can get back in the pool is to do enough pool cord work that we lose the minimum amount of form and potentially even gain some strength. 
Good stuff from here. So we've done uh, arm swings to get warmed up. We're going to start activation. So we're going to go into a T position and then we're going to draw the shoulder blades back together, holding in there. Keep the fingertips as far away from each other as you can so the arms are really long. Hinge back through those shoulder blades, nice and solid. Three, two, one, and down to a relaxed start. We obviously want these muscles to be activated for the arm recovery. Keep that strength in there. We're going to go up to the Y position. We're going to pinch back again through the shoulder blades. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Good stuff. We're going to go all the way up to the top and pull back through the shoulder blades. We want to be making sure that we're not pulling back here, but we're keeping the body nice and aligned. Core activated, so the lower back is flattened out. Good stuff from here. We're going to get the elbows in. We're going to come out as far as we can, either side. And then when we've done that, pinch shoulder blades together. So two stages to that motion. So first of all, draw the arms out and then pinch the shoulder blades. Pinch, 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 pinch. Good amount of tension here. This should feel like work. And relax, recover. We're going to do the same thing in this position. So we're going to take the hands back as far as we can. Try and get the fingertips back there, then pinch the shoulder blades together. Really solid effort. Pinch, 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 pinch. Good stuff. That's the first part of the warm up. We're going to move on to the activation. So we've got a sequence of exercises. We're going to do 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I'll show you the exercises very quickly. There are four. The first one of them is going to be a bench row. So we get into this position, we pull elbows in and rotate the hands around. So the finished position is elbows have come through and high, my palms are facing up, and then I come back, twist, palms down, pull back to here. So we're activating through the muscles that we've really just worked on those wide arm holding exercises. Then we'll flip it around and we'll do a chest fly there 30 seconds on 10 seconds off then we'll go to if you can this is where you unattach your band put it under your foot and we're going to do a bicep curl here if you can do that great if you can't do it then just do a on the spot bicep curl motion just to warm up the muscles that will be fine. And our last one, we're going to flip around again, kneel down, elbows high here, and push for a tricep extension, hold, make sure you get full extension, then come back to the start. We're going to go through those four exercises three times, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Okay, so get yourself ready for the first one. We're going to do that bent row, and we're going to go in three, two, one. Off we go. So really get that squeeze. We're not looking for a kind of effort or reps here. This is activation and warm up. So rotate those hands in. Pull the elbows back. And if you watch my elbows, I'm getting them as high as I can. In the lats a little bit too, that's time. We've got 10 seconds recovery to flip around before we do the chest fly. Off we go. So again, let's get full range, hands right back. Let's push forward, make sure the hands touch in front. Activate through the core to keep the body line nice and straight. As we go through rounds one to three, you can increase the resistance as we go. Good stuff, that's time. Now, if you can, take your band, put it under your foot, 
two, one, and off we go, bicep curl. If you can't do this one, if you can't attach, then just do that bicep curl motion, nice and quick. So you warm the muscles up. We do quite a lot of work with the bicep in the catch of the front crawl motion. So that's why we're warming the bicep up now. Two, one, time, quick transition. Back onto the hook, tricep press. And push there. Just find your way into this one. You might have to bring the elbows forward a little bit, depending on how and where your band is attached. But try and get the best range you can from as far back all the way to straight as you possibly can. This is the last exercise of our four. We're going to go through twice more. Good stuff. Time. Stand up, flip around. We've got our bent over row. Three, two, one. So don't neglect your posture on this one. We want that flat back, glute engaged, bum stuck out. Add on an appropriate amount of resistance. Okay, let's squeeze at the back of the movement. Good stuff. Flip around for the chest fly. Add on a bit more resistance if you need to. Off we go. So it shouldn't be really hard, but you should just think about your chest muscles activated the whole way through this 30 seconds on the way in and on the way out of the movement. Exhale as you bring the hands together. And time, bicep curl. Three, two, one, go. So just like the bent over rope, you want to squeeze up the top, take the hands right down to straight. So we're working the full range of motion, activating the whole muscle. Two, one, pull cord back on. Flip around, tricep press. Good stuff, time. We've got once more through each of those exercises. Five, four, bent over row next. Ready, go. Get the posture, squeeze in. So the shoulder blades and the back of this movement are pinched together. And that's time, we're onto the chest fly next. Ready, off you go. So again, we're not looking for reps, but you might want to up the resistance a little bit as we're in the third round of three. We're into the first part of the main set after this.
good stuff. Whip it around, take the band off, bicep curl. Off we go. This isn't going to be a session that gets the heart rate up like a brick or a bike or a run or maybe even an actual swim. But hopefully it will be a session that you feel over the next couple of days like you've got some work done. We might not be able to keep swim fit, but we can keep swim strong. Good stuff. Time. Stand back on. Last exercise. Overhead tricep extension. Off we go. Seeing as strength is a component of fitness, getting stronger or staying strong is an important part of our swim ability. Again, you can up the resistance on this one to make sure the triceps nice and warm. I often find any activity or exercise that isolates my triceps reminds me how weak and rubbish they are. Time. Great stuff. So that's the end of our warm up and activation. We're going to move on to the first part of our main set. So you have some options here in terms of the movement that you do. You can do one of these, you can change it up as you go through. You can either do a single arm or freestyle movement. So you can mimic freestyle if technically you feel happy to do so. If not, then you can do a single arm, straight arm movement, that's fine too. Or you can do a double arm, free, uh, sorry, fly pull movement, or if again, technically that's difficult, you can do a straight arm version of that. So you've got four options there, double or single, with a high elbow catch or with a straight arm. Uh, you can change as well as you go through the rest of the set. Now, what we're gonna do is 10 seconds on, five seconds off. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. 30 and 15. 40 and 20, 50, 25, 60 and 30. And what we do is we reduce the intensity of the work rate as we go through. So 10 seconds on is as hard as you can go. Whereas when we get to the 60 seconds on, we're doing it more of a moderate pace. It should still be hard, uh, but just reduce the amount of reps. We're gonna go through that sequence three times. This is a little bit of a muscular endurance sort of section. Uh, any questions? Ask now. Otherwise, we will get going before we get cool. Okay, so grab your band. Get yourself ready. And we're going to go 10 seconds. Really hard. Five seconds. Easy. So this is 100% effort on this one. Ready? Three, two, one. Off you go. Don't sacrifice form for effort, but as hard as you can is good. That's time. Five seconds recovery. 20 seconds on in three, two, one, go. So pretty hard on this one. Keep the work rate up. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds recovery, then we go 30 seconds on in three, two, one, go. Again, still quite hard work, just a little bit off where you were last time because we're going to go for a bit longer. So each section should feel roughly as fatiguing as the one before. Three, two, one, time. 15 seconds recovery, and then we've got 40 seconds on. You might be feeling that the heart rate's getting up. You certainly should. Ready? Three, two, one, get the posture and go. If you're doing a kind of mimicking freestyle, get the rotation through the hips, as always. 
at the front of the stroke, post your hand through the letterbox and then push it around and over that barrel to activate the chest and the lats. We're halfway through. Make sure you get that range at the back, full press. Get that hand back to the hip. Feel the tricep work. And time, 20 seconds. And then we've got 50 seconds. Again, just slow it down slightly on the next one. We're going in five, three, two, one, go. However fast the arms are moving on the last one, slowing it down a tiny bit. Other than that, it's the same. We've got 15 more seconds. And if you've got this right, you should be starting to feel a good bit of work in the chest and the lats now. Three, two, one, time. We have a decent bit of recovery now, 25 seconds. I'm gonna hold on to my bands, but you don't need to. You can just let them go, shake it loose if you need to. We've got 10 seconds to go, and then we're gonna go 60 seconds on. 30 seconds off. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So now we're at our slowest. It shouldn't be slow, but just think about the rhythm of a fairly long, easy swim in the pool and try and mimic that. So imagine staring at the black line. Imagine you're in the water, get the head position as it would be. And take them through the hips, try and get the same rhythm. So a lot of time I can see people doing catch up on the screen. So not moving the front arm until the back arm gets there. You wanna try and keep movement through the arms. We've got another three, two, one, time. And we get 30 seconds. That's once through. We're gonna do two more times through. And we're gonna go rapid at the start. So get ready, in 15 seconds, we're gonna do that 10 seconds really hard. If you feel you wanna make it harder and you were doing single arm, go double arm. Each arm will do twice the amount of reps. So, Ready to work hard in three, two, one, go. Hard as you can, 10 seconds, fast arms, push it hard, hard, hard. Time, five seconds, then we go 15 seconds. Ready, two, one, go. Sorry, 20 seconds, 20 seconds on this one. It just doubles. I should have it in my mind. Good. Still pretty hard work. Don't slow those arms down too much. Only three seconds to go. Two, one, time. 10 seconds. So now we've got some fatigue in the muscles. Should be feeling hard. 30 seconds on the next one. Ready? Two, one, go. It's not quite enough recovery, is it? So we're kind of moderate pace now. Definitely still putting in some effort as we fire that hand back to the hip. Three, two, one, time. That was our 30, we get 15 seconds. And then it's 40 seconds. 
Ready? Three, two, one, go. If you haven't done so already, it's really good to try and film yourself doing this movement or in front of a mirror so you can look at your technique. This is a great time to work on technique when you can actually analyze your movement patterns and how you're working. But we've got 10 seconds to go. Keep that work on. Push the hands hard to the back of the stroke. Three, two, one. Time, 20 seconds. So 50 seconds coming up. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Establish that good postural position. You shouldn't feel this in your lower back. But you're spending enough time in the position that if you aren't quite holding yourself correctly, you will feel it there. Well, you may well do, I should say. Should be so definite. So just try and keep the work through the glutes. Lower back flattened out. Last ten seconds. Two, one, time. We've got twenty. Five seconds to recover, and then we go 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and then we've got one more round. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So this is your most deliberate movement, 60 seconds. Mimicking that long, steady swim rhythm should feel really smooth. That's what we're looking for, not one arm, then the other arm, then the other arm, then the other arm. One smooth movement. One hand catches while the other recovers. We've got 15 seconds to go. Get that big strong press at the back, engage those triceps, squeeze the lats through. Five seconds, three, two, one, time. Again, maybe drop the cords, shake it off. We've got 30 seconds. And then we go around three of three. Should be feeling the work in the chest and the lats now. 15 seconds to go. If you're not and you've been doing single arm again, go double arm. Increase the amount of reps that you're doing. Okay, get yourself ready. We're going in five really hard 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Sprint, 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 sprint. Two, one. Time, five seconds. Ready, three, two, one, go. 20 seconds, it's still hard. Feel the tension through the chest and the lats. Five, three, two, one, time. 10 seconds. 30 seconds of work coming up in three, two, one, go. I think I might find the 30 seconds one the hardest because it's quite long and it's quite hard. Halfway, keep breathing. I'll admit to forgetting to do that sometimes.
three, two, one, five. 15 seconds to recover. Then we'll go 40 seconds. Good, I see people wiping sweat off their brow. That means they're either working hard or they've left the heating on. Ready, two, one, go, 40 seconds. Halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, time. Twenty seconds recovery. Really, guys, try and imagine as much as you can that you're in the water. Mimic that movement. 10 seconds. And then we've got 50 second effort. Ready, three, two, one, go. So get the high elbow catch, get the elbow traveling down the line of the body rather than underneath your body. Get that push forward at the front of the stroke so that you can inwardly rotate the upper arm, activate the lats. We've got 20 seconds to go on this one. Then it's one more rep, then we go on to set two. Five seconds. Keep the quality, push, 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 time. 25 seconds to recover. There we go, 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Okay, we're ready. Five, three, two, one, go. So you're slowest at this point, so you've got the chance to think about the form. If you've looked at the Swim Smooth Mr. Smooth video or app, now is the time that you want to try and mimic that same smooth movement. Halfway. Fifteen seconds to go. Keep the back pressed in. Keep breathing. Draw the arm through. And finish it with just a little push, push at the back to get extension and activation. Three, two, one. Time. Good stuff. Grab yourself a drink. That's us finished the first part of the session. So, we're going to move on to the next section. I'm just going to change the clock so that we've got a buzzer to walk us through the session. We're going to use the lower body a little bit on the next round. Okay. Good stuff. Let me explain what we're doing. Now, there are four sections again. If you just did double arm pull through, sorry, but we've got more double arm pull through. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one jump squat every 15 seconds. And in the 15 seconds of work, we do a particular exercise. This mimics 100 meter reps and a bit of Ironman stuff. So at the, at the start of every rep, we'll go jump squat, land, into position and then we go sorry double arm pull through on the first one and then at 15 seconds jump squat back in double arm pull through at 30 seconds jump squat back in 30 seconds 
So we do one minute 15 of that work. Squatting, doing the drop squat at 0, 15, 30, 45, and 60 seconds. I'll talk you through it. We're going to do that through. Then we do the same sequence, but instead of a double arm pull through, we're going to do back pull. So this is our backstroke element. So we're going to grab from here, hands back, and push through there. Hands by the sides, works the chest, squeeze here. And again, we do that little pull to jump squat, pull to jump squat. Every 15 seconds, you'll get the idea of this when we uh, get into it. Our third exercise is going to be breaststroke pulls. Imagine stirring your hands through two pudding bowls here, here, here. Watch the Fingers down, high elbow catch and around. So it's there, we can push, push, get some body movement in if we want with the jump squat. And our last one is gonna be a single arm pull through or freestyle technique. Okay, so you're getting yourself ready. Double arm pull through with a jump squat every 15 seconds, essentially every time you hear a bell or a hooter. I'll talk you through the first one so you get the idea. So get yourself ready in this position, ready for a jump squat in three, two, one. Jump squat down, double arm pull throughs. So there's a lot of work in this set, so moderate pace, please. Ready for a jump squat, two, one. Jump squat down, double arm pull throughs. Ready? Jump squat, double arm pull throughs. That's three jump squats. We do five. Then 15 seconds of work, then finish. Three, two, one, jump squat. That's four, double arm pull throughs. Three, two, one jump squat, double arm pull throughs. At the end of this 15 second section, we finish and we get ready to do the same sequence but with a backstroke pull movement. Three, two, one, stop. Rest, recover, 15 seconds to transition to get yourself ready for that next exercise. We're going to get ourselves into the backstroke pull position, getting ready for a jump squat in three two, one, push, land, backstroke. So what we're doing here is obviously making sure we're just simulating the turns and the push off the wall. Jump squat, two. So the hands are in by the sides. I see a few people doing it in a crucifix position. So jump squat three. Don't do that, please. If you can, just bring the hands down to your hips so the arms are straight like the back of the backstroke movement. Jump squat four. Keep the arms long. Jump squat five. 15 seconds of work, then rest. Time. Good stuff. And rest. 15 seconds recovery. Just like we would do if we were doing threshold reps of 100 meters. Then we're going to do breaststroke pulls, getting ready for that in five seconds. Obviously got the jump squat first, two, one, jump squat, press stroke pull. This doesn't activate the, it activates the lats, but we don't use them for the food through the full range. We work the chest a bit more. Three, two, one, jump squat, two.
three, two, one, jump squat, three. Jump squat, four. You should really feel this high in the chest muscle, almost next to the shoulders as you catch. We're getting the high elbow. Oh, I can't remember how many jump spots we've done. Let's say that that's four. Jump squat five, 15 seconds more work. And rest, 15 seconds just to recover. Then we do our single arm or freestyle movement with jump squats. So I think 100 meters in the pool with threshold. Ready, three, two, one. Jump squat one, bend over, single arm pull through, or front crawl movement. Jump squat two. Keep the back posture really good with core engaged as you jump, land, and transition back into this position. Jump squat three, should feel like a threshold 100 meter effort. Jump squat four. Jump squat five. Last few seconds of work. Time, 15 seconds recovery. That's once through, we're gonna go through three more times. Ready, three, two, one, squat jump, double arm, pull through. So this is like underwater butterfly movement. Jump squat two. Good. Sorry, Joe, can you mute yourself, please? Jump squat three. And Joe. Jump squat four. Jump squat five. There don't have to be maximal jump squats, they're just as similar to what you would do if you pushed off the wall in the pool. Three, two, one. Rest, 15 seconds rest, then we have backstroke. We've got seven seconds, ready? Three, two, one, jump squat. Not gonna lean into this one a little bit from the floor, a bit more range. Jump squat two. Let's keep that tension through the body as you jump, or else the band just pulls you back. Jump squat three. Jump 
Então, tô com foco. Jump squat five. Time, 15 seconds to recover. And if you're me, regret the fact you forgot to get a drink before the start of the session. Breaststroke pulls, jump squat in three, two, one. So squat, breaststroke. Jump squat, two, breaststroke. Good, try and get those hands as far and as high forward as you can. Don't have the whole movement going on underneath you. Jump squat three. Jump squat four. Chest and lats, chest and lats. Big push through at the front and through that letter box before you catch with the high elbow. Jump squat five. Last section of work. Time, 15 seconds to recover. And we're on to freestyle again or single arm pull through. Six seconds, ready. Three, two, one, jump squat. Freestyle. Set off again, like that feeling of starting a threshold set of 100s. Jump squat two. Try and transition into those jump squats and back into the stroke as seamlessly as you can, just like a tumble turn. Number three. Number four. You should feel the same feeling as you feel on the breaststroke pulls with that high chest muscle engaging. Number five, 15 more seconds of work. Time. That's round two. Right, double arm pull through again. Shake it loose, get a drink, get Bye. yourself set up. Two, one, jump squat. Double arm pull through. Number two. Number three. Let the fingers lead the movement. Number four. Good stuff, guys. Keep breathing. Number five. Keep that elbow patch nice and high if you can. Squeeze and push at the back. Full extension. Try and keep the body isolated and still. 
time. 15 seconds to recover. Back pulls. We're ready. Jump squat. And pulls. Good stuff. Good amount of tension. Jump squat, two. Just keep the quality in these movements if you need to cut down the intensity through resistance or reps, do that. Last jump squat, five. Last 15 seconds of work. Good stuff, everyone. Keep it going, keep it going. Time, 15 seconds recovery. And we're on to breaststroke pulls. Three, two, one, jump squat. Breaststroke pulls, push in. You always get a bit of body movement into this one as I am. Get that real push and extension at the front. Reach over that barrel as you go around the pudding bowl. You keep going, keep going. Bad news is that the timer has stopped. Here we go. We'll save that. Okay, stop there. Do a jump squat. We're going to try and start it again. There we go. Sorry about that. Let's go jump squat three and then back in. Extra work in the middle. Technology letting us down. Number four, jump squat. Good, so just small circles and catches at the front. Number five, jump squat, and then back in. Good, keep the elbows high, don't let the elbows go low. And time, good stuff. Sorry about the extra work on that one. 15 seconds to recover, then we're gonna go into front crawl. Three, two, one, jump squat, one. Jump squat two. Work hard on this one. Jump squat three. We're actually out of time after this round. So this will be the last exercise. It'll be an hour. Jump squat four, 30 seconds of work to go. Jump squat five, last 15 seconds of work. Time. Well done. I nearly set up enough rounds on the timer. Not quite. Okay, good stuff. We are going to do a couple of stretches to take us up to the full time of that session. So we're going to reach palms together above our heads, try and get the biceps. Stuck.
tuck behind your ears. Nice straight tall body line. If you can, try and get the hands back as far as possible without bending at the elbows. From here, we're gonna take one hand down and go over to stretch through the side and the lat that's been doing so much work. Stretch, 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 change sides. Push over the other side. Push that hip out as well, so you're increasing the range of movement. Good stuff. We're going to join our fingers behind our back, bend over, and try and get our hands above our head in that position. We're stretching through the hamstrings and glutes, which have been contracted for a lot of the session. Three, two, one. Let the hands go, join them in front of you. Push forward, curve the back. Terrible posture, but just opening up between the shoulder blades where we might have developed a little bit of tension, which is quite good for that part of strength, but not too much tension. We'll go overhead with one hand. We'll pull with the other hand. And just stretch off the tricep and the lats. Again, try and nestle that arm behind the head. You can push back with your head to work on the range and to stretch through the chest as well. Start to lean over. So we're pulling through the side as well. Two, one. Time change sides. Hand up behind, grab it with the other side. Push back with the head. Elbow high towards the ceiling. Start to tip over to the side, breathe into the stretch. Three, two, one and that is time so guys that's you done that's an hour swim cord workout where we worked on warming the shoulders up we got good activation through the major swim muscles we then took it on and we did some more kind of powery stuff a bit of muscular endurance through that that descending set but not mentally too difficult and then we did a kind of similar sort of threshold almost muscular endurance kind of set that should also have developed or hopefully maintained your strength. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thanks so much for joining this morning.